Hey guys, this is going Daniel here. Today we're gonna to do a quick setup of the Apple Watch. Now I haven't done this before, so this is my first time doing it. So uh, we're gonna do it as if it's your first time doing it too. So we're gonna open up the Apple Watch app on the iPhone and we're gonna click start pairing here and we're gonna see what happens here. I'm gonna select English over here and uh, start pairing over here as well. And uh, let's see, I just place it here. See what happens. Align it, I'm aligning it. I'm definitely aligning it. Um, I don't know what's supposed to appear here, if anything. Maybe I have to put it down on a table, but I'm going to go ahead and pair it manually. Let's click on info again, and uh, it appears right there. So that's perfect. And now we enter the six digit code that appears right here, which is 397 580. Okay. And that's about it. And uh, it's paired, and that's it. Let's see what happens here. Set up Apple Watch on which I'm gonna write. Oh, actually, no, I wear it on the left hand. And uh, let's see. It's selecting the preference right there. And uh, yeah, this band so far feels really good, by the way. It's uh, very comfortable. All right, so I skipped a few steps right here in the video because it asked me for my password for iTunes so that it can connect to Touch ID and all that good stuff. And also asked me for my password for uh, iMessage. That way it can send the messages over here and uh, allow the other communication forms that it has on here. So you can send messages to people. So uh, here we got a prompt for Siri. Okay, I don't want to send any diagnostics. Create a password code, no, thank you and uh, I'll choose later what apps I want to install. And now the Apple Watch is syncing and we got a cool little loading logo right there. And uh, it appears to be taking its time if it has to fill it the whole way. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here and I'm gonna skip it to when it's done and I'll tell you how long it took. All right guys, so the setup took about 10 minutes and that was with no apps installing. So I'm gonna assume that it would take a lot longer if you're gonna install all the apps that you have on your phone that work with the Apple Watch. But uh, yeah, here I click OK, and this is where it's gonna allow me to change a bunch of the settings on the watch, like notifications, the glances, do not disturb, and all that good stuff. So you're gonna get a good amount of customization, and uh, it doesn't take too long to get it uh, set it up if you wanna just use it as a watch real quick without installing any apps on it. But uh, yeah, guys, that's the setup. It'll take you in total about 20 minutes to a half an hour and possibly even more if you have a lot of apps. And uh, yeah, guys, this is the Apple Watch setup. If you have any questions about this video or any questions in particular about the setup or anything at all, feel free to contact me. You can write down a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Or you can reach out on Twitter at RMRDNL or at Dar Gadgets. I'll get back to you as soon as I can and uh, answer your question. But yeah, aside from that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hey, how's it going? I wanted to add a quick little ending here because I wanted to mention the fact that if you're not subscribed to this channel, you should totally subscribe because I have a bunch of more Apple Watch coverage coming soon. And uh, I cover all things Apple and a bunch of other tech things. So if you're interested in that, feel free to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, you know, you can always leave a like because it helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Aside from that, I'll catch you in the next video.